here we go. I'm going to show you how to set up your Crusader 2 in Betaflight. First, uh, I showed you the flashing video, so if you haven't done that, please do that update to the most recent one. All right, here you go. This change, you're going to hit connect. If you use your accelerometer, you're going to want to uh, calibrate it. So put your ship flat on a table or something, hit calibrate accelerometer, boom, you're done. That's out there. We're going to enable expert mode. Okay. Good little check here is when you go up, does your ship go up? That's a, just a quick check that we always like to do. Ports. On this one, you want your UART2 to be MSP because that talks to your on screen display. Now, if you're going to run a serial like the Spectrum, then you use serial 3 here. This You turn this to serial and you can run your Spectrum satellite receiver. So anything time you make a change on the screen, always go down and save. So we hit save and reboot. Okay. Go to configurations tab. All right. Let's start here. We don't have to do anything. One here. I'm going to run multi shot. It's just a. We've got BO Heli SB controller, so why not? It runs better with the multi shot on there. You can, it's just a bit finer graduation. 1500 min throttle, I'll probably leave that about, that seems about right. Min 1000, 2000, that's perfect. Accelerator trim, we don't have to do anything here. Board, our board's perfect. Here you want to set your receiver. So if you're using a Spectrum satellite, you're going to select serial. If you're using the PPM, which is what I've got, I've got a D4R in there, so I'm going to have that. Your VBAT. Now what I do on this one is I put a 5 here, because if you run H V batteries, it will beep the whole time if you don't. So I put I put a five there, and then I hit save and reboot. I don't know if that took it, but we'll see. Current sensor don't need to do that. RSI don't need to do that. Okay, here this is your how you how fast it updates and everything. If you're going to leave your accelerometer, just leave these on. I'm not going to turn on my accelerometer. So I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to turn this up to 4K and that to 2K. Hit save and reboot. I like to do it each step. That way I know if I did something wrong. And that one, she looks like we could probably even go up to 4K, 4K. What, what I'm looking at here is your limit is oops, the CPU. You don't want that like around 70, 80%. So 18 is good. So we're just going to go 4K, 4K accelerometer is disabled. Nothing here see here I don't have black box I don't know why that comes checked there's no chip on board I am going to use air mode you don't have to click OSD because that's if it's built into the flight controller not how we've got it on our F, what's that called the uh, SP3 so I'm going to hit save and reboot again All right, here you got a craft name too so I'm going to type in just for your black box logs but just I'll put that in there save and reboot Okay, fail safe is our next screen. Uh, fail safe, I want it on. I just have a drop. That's the default. So what you could do is if you wanted to too, you could make it so that if it goes into fail safe, you'll turn your your horn on. PID tuning, yeah, beta flight. Woo -woo. So we want VBAT PID compensation on. And here's your rates. I'm just going to leave these uh, PIDs in here for now. I think these are pretty good defaults here. Receiver, I'm using a Spectrum, so I have to change this to there. And RC, we leave that auto, so that's the only thing there you do. Is you set this appropriately. Save. Modes. All right. Arm. There's my arm mode. I always do that. I don't know why, but that's what I do there. And then my beeper is on aux. Three, box one, box four, and deeper down. Save. Usually I have my receiver on so I can check all that stuff too. Don't need servos, motors. Could test out our motors if we want to. Calibrate our speed controllers. It's a good time to do that. So take I agree. 
take this slider to the top. And then I use use a current limiter. If you don't know what that is, look it up, but it will save money. So I connect my battery to my current limiter, current limiter to my ship. Let it sing. Bring it down. Unplug it. All right, now those should be set. So now let's see what our mint throttle is going to be at. So what I'll do is I just uh, bring my throttle up a little bit here. Let's see when they start to spin. There, it's spinning good. Not 1019. So let's make sure they all do that at about the same spot. See that annoying buzzer? Okay, well, we're going to. They're all spinning about 1019. Let's turn that buzzer off. So, how you do that is a little trick. You go um, USB minus, or no, beeper. Beeper minus on USB. Enter. Disabled on, and then save. So, you can look. Oops, it's rebooting. All right. Now I'll plug it back in. There I'm plugged in. No beeper. So we're gonna go here. My motors are moving at 10, 20. I'm gonna add three. I'm gonna bring this to 10, 50. So what you do is you figure out when your motors just start slowly spinning, and then you put that you add 30 and put that in your min throttle. There we go. That's it. Now my ship is set up for beta flight. It is good to go. Appreciate you watching us. If you got any questions, check us out at twodogrc.com.